Okay, so this is a video I felt compelled to make after the Doom the Dark Ages PC requirements release. Um, as you can see, it requires NVIDIA or AMD hardware ray tracing capable GPU. That means a 2060 Super or better, or I guess a 2060 or better, and an RX 6600 or better. And again, it's very similar to what we've seen with Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, which makes sense. They both run the same engine. They both have the same, they're both running the same Intec engine running Vulcan. And uh, if you would have, if you have a non-ray tracing capable graphics card, like a RX 5700 XT, uh, you would be greeted to an error message when trying to launch. Fortunately, no one can play this game without it. And obviously, not everybody is interested in playing the Indiana Jones game, even if it is a large IP. And on PC, I feel a lot more of people would want to play Doom. Now, this is actually a video on how to get that running on your non-ray tracing card. So here, unfortunately, this is a Linux only fix. Um, I'm unaware of any way you could do something like this in Windows. But typically, you would install your game and hit play, and you would be greeted with this error. English, missing Vulkan device extensions. Please update your graphics driver or GPU. And it is missing the Vulkan pipelines for ray tracing because this system, in fact, has a 5700 XT. Now, there's actually a very simple fix for this. Again, I'm running the game in loot through Lutris, but this will also work if you're running it through Steam. Uh, you're going to add some environment variables. So, for the first, well, for the only variable you really need is the rad v perf test. And you're just going to simply edit, make it a value equal to rt, comma, emulate RT exactly like this no space between the comma RT comma emulate underscore RT I put that in wrong just like that it, if you were putting this into Steam, you'd just write it like that, with an equal sign. And then when you go to launch, the game will simply just launch. But what that, co that environment variable does is within the Vulcan pipeline, well, the Mesa Vulcan pipeline, it will uh, basically translate to hardware ray tracing to software ray tracing. Now, my 5700 XT is very much underloaded, if you know what that means. It's, I'm having it run at much lower power draw than what is normal. In fact, I have mine limited to 75 watts. And the wattage for 5700 XT is somewhere between 220 and 250. So if you are not undervolting like I am, you'll actually see better performance. But here we are. Running 1080p. Low settings. 
and a static 66% resolution scaling. Unfortunately, Indiana Jones has no FSR or XESS uh, upscaling methods, or TSR. Uh, it's not an Unreal Engine game, which makes sense. So uh, the only upscaling method in the game is DLSS, which is unavailable to me on a 5700 XT. So here we are at 1080p low at 66% resolution scale, getting about 50 frames per second. And again, this is a significantly underbanked graphics card with a standard stock with some other features and high performance. But you can see the game in uh, We can try running a high. I'll have to restart the game. Okay, here we are after restarting the game. And we are now running 1080p high settings with 66% resolution scaling. And we are getting a little bit above the frame time per second. With the frame time, it is a bit spicy, but honestly, it looks worse than it feels. Uh, you could limit it to 30 frames per second, and hopefully that would that get rid of that. Let's try that. Okay, so after enabling the frame time limited, uh, up to the outside of the game, the frame time still looks about the same. But here we are playing at 1082 high settings, getting 30 frames per second. Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest experience, I will admit, but it is playable. Whereas it was not playable. And I have a funny feeling that being the dark ages were significantly better optimized than this. At least I would hope so. But we went from being unplayable to playable, which I think is uh, a huge improvement. Let's disable that frame limiter. Honestly, I could, I could actually play it. Perhaps I will upload a new video about how to install Linux if you are at all interested. Um, so I guess that's all for today. Um, have a good day.